Okie dokie. <coughs> we are now on part three. Um, so part three is very, very similar to part two, except in this case we're going to be moving the player missile toward the targeted location. Um, so it's basically the exact same code. Uh, so let's take a look real quick at what we do with the enemy. Well, let's let's see what it looks like. I always forget to do that. Um, I have two dual monitors of these popping up up here. Okay, so I've set my target up here somewhere. So you can see it's going off that way, and then the other missile is coming down that way. Again, remember Python 2, uh, the math is a little bit, uh, is a little bit different. Uh, this only works in Python 3. There's, I'm sure there's a way to fix it, uh, but since I'm focused on Python 3 these days, uh, I'm not going to bother. So anyway, um, taking a look at the code that we used to do that, we've got uh, in the enemy missile, basically we had this code here. So all I did was honestly was I just copied this and I pasted it. Because um, I, what's good is I know that this code works. I've tested it. You know, it's it works for the enemy missile. I can copy and paste it. I know it's going to work for the player missile as well. Um, probably the only real big difference uh, is that I set the player missile speed to three. Um, again, that's something you're going to tweak anyway uh, as you try to develop the game, and you might you know start out with slower missiles, make some missiles faster. There's all kinds of options you can do later in the game. Um, so. Yeah, so that's kind of the only real difference. So the same thing I did with the last video was here where I set the enemy missile, I set the target, the city. Um, in the case of the player missile, it's a little bit different uh, because I'm actually going to be sending the actual coordinates, uh, the X, Y coordinates that I want to use. So there's been a bit of a change uh, in the code. So you can see here with the enemy missile, my target is a silo or a city, so I'm actually sending that object to the the function or to the method. But in the case of the player missile, I'm going to be sending the target X and the target Y. Now, in a, you know, in an upcoming video, you'll see where does that target X and target X come from. That's where I actually click the the screen. I'll show you how that's going to work uh, in in a bit. So, but it, but the math is exactly the same. Okay, so it's in the case of the enemy missile, it's the target X coordinate and the target Y coordinate. Uh, and then it's a little confusing because I know I'm using the same word here. But notice this is the target. This is an, a game object, so it's dot X core parentheses. And this is an actual number that I'm sending. Uh, again, if you don't know what classes are, functions, you, this is not the video for you yet. Um, so, anyway, so when I set my player missile, because that's the only missile I have so far, I use a set target method. And Visual Studio Code has this nice little pop-up for me. Um, so the target X is 300, and the target Y is 300 as well. So let's uh, take a look at that again. Let's okay, now again, it's in Python 3. So I'm going to close that. And then, oops, get rid of that. Python, I know, terminal. So, And this is missile command 3. This is what you should see. So this is heading towards the city. This one is heading towards 300, 300. Now notice it didn't stop because we haven't programmed it to stop yet, but it will once we're done. 